Another key objective of NPF4 is to help people live well locally in the future by embedding principles of local living and 20-minute neighbourhoods into how we design and create places and communities. I know some stakeholders' concerns that this approach might result in entrenchment of inequalities in neighbourhoods. But isn't that what the current system, as well as much wider social and economic over change over time, has inadvertently resulted in, in many urban areas in particular? Our fresh approach to spatial planning will allow us to create places with improved access to the facilities and amenities required by people in their daily lives, but support thriving, sustainable, healthy communities and protect and enhance our environment. The aim is to create more balanced, diverse communities and neighbourhoods. Yet, I acknowledge the need for clarity on how the local living and 20-minute neighbourhoods approach can be applied in rural settings. Scotland's geography and population sparsity demands that the application of the template will differ according to the unique circumstances, opportunities and aspirations of individual places. I'm afraid I don't have time, Mr Simpson, but I'm happy to, in concluding. To support, this improved, to support this important principle for new development, we will publish and invite views on new guidance on local living in 20-minute neighbourhoods. Presiding officer, it will take extensive collaboration and commitment across sectors to deliver NPF4. Local authorities are key partners. The strength of NPF4 is in connecting planning with wider work through the place principle, which involves everyone. To aid this work, a new planning infrastructure and place advisory group is being established to oversee delivery and support implementation of NPF4. The committee rightly highlights concerns about capacity and skills, and we are already acting to address these issues.